Hello there. We're going to uh, talk about spining and peering, and a uh, common question we get asked to us on a daily basis is, isn't spining the same thing as peering? Isn't peering the same thing as spining? Basically, unless you have a peer machine and you can actually go through the process, uh, you really can't give that answer. Um, fortunately for us, we have one. Um, we've been able to distinguish between spining and peering. I'm just going to show you kind of the difference uh, that we see uh, between spining and peering. Uh, one thing is that the pure machine has a way of measuring the shaft uh, 360 degrees around why it's loading it and I'll, and I'll show you how this works here in a second. Right now I just put this shaft in a, in a spine barrel and uh, basically spining is pretty simple. Uh, we basically pull down on the shaft and uh, hold the barrel. This just slides on there and this is just going to allow us to spin the shaft. Now what you'll notice is this shaft is not popping up the same way every time. I would say the Devotion 4 kind of logo up seems to kind of come back to that one. But there's definitely multiple spines in this shaft. So which one you choose, I don't know. It should be the most dominant one, but it's hard to say which one is the dominant one there. So I'm just going to mark this on the shaft and now I'm going to take the same shaft with this mark and I'm going to put it over here on the automated pure machine. <clears throat> we just slide this in, this is basically a chuck, uh, I guess if you want to uh, compare it to that it would be the same thing as where the barrel was just sitting. Uh, we're going to click start on this, this will be automated. This machine is going to come down and it's going to clamp the shaft. <laughs> And I'm going to locate logo up, which is actually the spine that we found uh, on that shaft. I'm going to click next. Uh, this is basically a client database. We basically send these reports to our clients. I'm just going to put demo in because that's basically what we're doing. Uh, shaft brand is an Oban. So we basically have all the shaft brands in here. Uh, we keep track of which shafts we think are high quality and maybe what shafts are not. O2 flex. <clears throat> I'm going to go through the whole test with you. Uh, this is clubs. We keep track of which clubs we're working on for the client set. This is going to be a driver shaft. Now what's going to happen is this is going to push down. It is going to load the shaft like you would have in a golf swing. And as the shaft is turning, this is taking a load cell measurements all the way around the shaft. It is going to find the stiffest side or the hardest part of the shaft in that measurement. So that's one key element over spining. I have no way of measuring the spine tool. I'm just spinning a barrel. Uh, here, that machine just took a measurement of the shaft. Located in this database, this is basically a chuck for a head. So this is gonna be like a weight of a head. What's gonna happen is once I click next, this is gonna go back to logo up and do a test. The shaft will locate back to logo up. And now it's going to do a prong test and give me basically how straight that shaft would flex. That's what you would have got if you had a spine. Not very good. Not for spining. So the, the pure machine now is looking at making that big ovulation as small as it can make it, which would be your golf shaft flexing as straight as line as possible. It is going to rotate this small incrementally amount with this flashing, it just rotated at 9 degrees uh, from the last prong. And then it's going to go back and forth until we're down to 0.6 is where we're at now. And you just remember how big that screen was. So that screen being where it was would have been spining it, which would not have been, uh, in my opinion, uh, spining that shaft and getting that out of it is, was a waste of time. You might as well just stuck it in and, and glued it and swing weight and been done with it. Um, here we're down to 0.4. Uh, this shaft is now flexing basically in a uh, almost in a dead straight line uh, with no oscillation at all in it. Um, we're about I would say 17 degrees from where we started. Uh, as you can see here on the screen, it was an 89% uh, improvement uh, over the logo up. I'll just click no. 
So you can see here it's 89.2% and we rotated it 21 degrees from logo up. So basically from spining it to peering it, there was basically an 89% improvement. Uh, as you notice, the shaft on the logo is turned slightly to, it would be your right if you're a right-handed player. Um, as the shaft was turned that way, not once did we ever see the spine pop up in this fashion or the logo placement here. It was either logo down underneath or it was logo on top. So at no point did the spine tool find uh, this position for us to install the shaft in this manner. So I'm going to click yes here. This basically puts a line on the shaft, uh, which we essentially go over with a marker. <clears throat> and I basically do this uh, for my glue in when I'm doing installs. It just darkens it up for me. I'm going to click yes here. <clears throat> What's going to happen now um, on this, we're going to get a couple of different tests. This is going to do straightness. So the shaft is, got, all shafts are a little crooked. It doesn't matter what company or how much money you spend on them. They're, they're not perfectly straight. Um, this is going to give us a torque test. As you can see here, it's twisting this around, separating it from here. It's putting torque uh, on the shaft and testing the torque of the shafts. This is all done on the pure process. It's part of this machine. And then I get a printout of that shaft. <clears throat> Basically these are multiple printouts. Uh, some shafts good, some shafts bad. That's a 94% improvement. This is another 94% improvement. Uh, this was a 58% improvement. So it's not saying every shaft's going to get 80% better. It's just this machine is going to find whatever this shaft is capable of getting is flexing in a straight line. This machine is going to identify it. Um, this would now be the glue-in position for that shaft. So this goes dead on the top of the golf club. And you'd be striking the ball this way as a right-handed golfer. So the logo is now on the side. Um, we never found this in the spine tool once uh, as a pop-up. So... For those of you out there on golf forums and kind of wondering, spining, peering, flowing, all that stuff, what is it and what's the difference? Um, this is probably the best way to understand it. Um, spining is going to find something that pops up hard or soft in a spine barrel, but there can be multiples as you just remember. We've just seen this thing pop up four or five different times in different ways. Uh, the pure machine actually has a load cell of flexing the shaft and measuring the stiffness all the way around and then working off the hard spot to get you your flatline oscillation. So for those of you wondering, this is what peering process will do. Um, it'll just help the golf club be a lot more consistent from club to club to club. It will also help your ball flights, uh, shafts flex in obviously more straight line. We're going to have less maybe draws or fades on, on the clubs. If you guys have any more questions, you can contact us at pureperformancegolflab.com. Facebook or Twitter, and I will be happy to answer any questions. Thank you and have a great day.